much. I think Pegasus, maybe he doesn't get talked about enough because Yu-Gi-Oh! is just like a kind of, in terms of the tiers of anime shows, it's like put off in its own tier with Pokemon and Digimon and kind of all the other stuff that is kind of not really recognized for its mm-hmm. anime-ness but ultimately recognized for just being part of childhood and all this other stuff like that, so there's no true development. But I think Pegasus doesn't really get, like, his due as a villain. I think he's incredibly witty. He's incredibly... Mm-hmm. as a personality he manages to get things done i mean he traps three souls and three different cards so he's gotta be <laughs> in like one episode <laughs> right and he, he he's established as kind of like an actually like as much joking as he has he's kind of a terrifying figure everyone mm-hmm. besides maybe my has kind of something against him He's very, like, obviously, like, this first stage villain, obviously. You get to, at this point, you move further in the series and things get, I guess, a lot more Egyptian. Um, yeah, a lot, a, lot, <laughs> a lot crazier. I think he's not really given his due as a villain. He's probably my favorite character on the show. I went up for legitimately everything that he said in the show because he's, he's just funny. I like Pegasus a lot. He, uh, I don't know if you play Final Fantasy meals, but he reminds me of Kefka from Final Fantasy VI. He's just a playful mm-hmm. dude, but, like, everything he does, like, does actual damage. Like, yeah, he jokes around, but, like, <laughs> he don't play around. He's good. He's right. good. 